Hi everybody, it's Miss Josette and I'm here with this week's Kids Club message and I just was at the Dollar Tree and I was just getting some things for myself because I just needed a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a snack, a little bit of a treat, a little bit of one of my favorite things in the world and that is candy and I love candy and so I got some of my favorite candy. I got some snow caps. I love snow caps. I love the dark chocolatey goodness of snow caps. I love them. I love snow caps and I got the snow caps, but then, then I couldn't resist. I saw Mike and Ike's. I love Mike and Ike's and they had some, a flavor I've never had before, the sour mega mix. So I had to have that too. So I have to not let myself eat both of them, but I, I, I want to eat both of them because I wanted these Mike and Ike's as well as the sour patches. And then I was in the aisle and, and they had raisinets and they had dark chocolate raisinets, oh, raisins with chocolate on them, dark chocolate raisin goodness. So then, then I saw Warheads. I love gummy Warheads. Oh, they had some sour wedge Warheads. And these ones said that they're uncomfortably sour. So now I've got four boxes of candy and I can't wait to go have my snack of these four boxes of candy. But then as I was in the checkout, there was... I love caramel creams, and these are Oreo caramel creams, Oreo caramel creams. Oh, I had to have these two. So now I've got five boxes of candy, and I'm just, I'm just so excited, and I'm going to have all of those, and it's going to be my bedtime snack, and I'm so excited. Does that sound like a good plan? That does not sound like a good plan. If I eat all five of those, I'm going to be in some serious trouble. I'm going to have a serious stomach ache and a whole lot of other issues if I eat all of that candy. And that's what I wanted to share with you in today's message. Today's message is going along with Pastor Tim's message for the, for last week and this week about financial stresses and finance, financial things. And that's a conversation that we're having with the grownups because that is a huge stressor for a lot of grownups. But it got me thinking about money. And in order for people to have financial stresses, they're talking about money and they're talking about what money is. And so it started me thinking about whether money is a bad thing or a good thing. And money is a good thing. We need money in order to be able to pay our bills, in order to be able to put food on our tables. We need to be able to have money in order to be able to do things to take care of ourselves. What the problem that happens is when money becomes our focus. And Jesus shared a parable about that when he was talking about this farmer who had a good crop and he had so much of this crop and he was so excited about this crop that he had and he had so much of it that he kept he wanted to build a bigger barn so that he could have more crop and another barn so that he could have more crop and more and more and more. And the lesson that Jesus wants us to get out of that, having the good crop wasn't the problem. The problem was the desire to have more and more and more. And so that's just like money or even my candy. The candy in and of itself isn't the problem. The problem is when I wanted more and more, and more, and more, that's when the problem comes in. So it's the same with money. Having money to be able to take care of ourselves and take care of our families is not the problem. The problem comes in when our focus becomes all on money and when we're so focused on getting more money so that we can get more stuff and we can have more and do more and more and more and more. One of two things can happen. One, that can cause us to get into some financial difficulties where the desire to have more and more and more gets us in a place where we're not able to take care of those things that the money is needed for, getting the food for our families, paying our medical bills, or taking care of our families just in general. That's where the love of money can start to become a problem. So I just wanted to be able to have give that visual to you with all of the candy so that you could think about the more and more and more and more so that you can think about where the desire for more becomes a problem. 
What we need to remember is that God provides for our needs. Now, I'm not saying that he's going to give you the candy or he's going to give you the bill. He's going to like pay your electric bill for you or pay your grocery bill so you don't have to, to work for that. But God supplies us with what we need. He takes care of our needs because he loves us and he makes sure that we have what we're needed and that to truly be following him, we need to not strive for that more and more and more and more because that's not going to make us happy. True happiness comes from following him and knowing that he takes care of us. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for this chance to get to share about the reminder that true happiness comes not from our desire for more and more and more and the need for more and more and more. True happiness comes from you. Money in and of itself is not an evil. Money in and of itself is not a problem. But Father, it's the debt fight for more, more, more. And Father, we ask you to guide us and help us to not want more, more, more. And Father, that we would just follow that what we would want more, more, more of is you. In the name of your son, we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys. Bye.